Hello everybody and welcome to a new save. Uh, I thought I'd try and get in another save just before FM21 comes out. Nice and quick, maybe a season, two seasons. And uh, we're going to come to Newcastle. The ongoing saga with the sale of the club is still ongoing. The rumours has it that it could have been sold at the beginning of the season. Now it may be at the end of the season. Correct me if I'm wrong, please do. Uh, it's just one of them things. It's worse than the Sancho deal with Manchester United. Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? Who knows? But in this case, we have taken a scenario which you can find on the FM scout.com website scenario with newcastle actually being taken over there is no more mike ashley which some of you newcastle fans will probably be delighted in it but uh in this scenario it's already happened we've got some money in the bank uh let's just have a look and see what we're going to be doing so first off uh, newcastle higher cat that's me uh, eyebrows have been raised in the world of football yada 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 uh 46 years old apparently i am pen to paper for a 43 and a half thousand pounds per week Woo! let's get it on won the uh, pre uh english premier division four times obviously it wasn't the premier division back then uh, they've won the Euro Cup once, uh, the FA Cup five, six times even, I can't count. Uh, Skybet Championship four times uh, recently as well, uh, just a couple of years ago. Um, the English Charity Shield and uh, the Anglo-Italian Cup in 1973. Founded in 1892, a professional club currently playing the Premiership, finished 13th in the Premiership last season. The club played the home game at St James's Park, possessed good facilities. Um, the club's tra training ground is Darsley Park. Uh, the reserves play at Whitley Park, whilst the youth team play at Little Benton. So they're kind of a little bit stretched. I'm not sure in proportion where how far apart these places are, but it looks like they're well spread. The club has also adequate uh, coaching academy, blah, blah, blah. The club is affectionately known as the Magpies. Uh, enjoying the greatest run in, uh, during the 1900s. Uh, the history can be found both in the total of 17 uh, competition wins which we've just seen up there and a media prediction for the seasons to finish 11th well we're going to try and go a little bit further than that club directives for this season sign high reputation players entertaining football wage work within the wage but mid they don't want to finish mid table though reach the fifth round fourth round well the idea the whole point of this save is to try and bring some players in uh, obviously with some investment obviously with the sale of the club and uh, we're going to try and bring in some high profile players as well and try and um, win the league this is a whole uh, we've got two seasons to do it and i'm giving myself two seasons just before fm21 comes out so let's first of all look at the invest uh, let's have a look who the owners are um let's have a look at all now so the owners now is mohammed bin salman bin abdulaziz al Saud. A little bit of a mouthful. I'm sure, we're not going to be saying that name very, very often, if at all. Uh, chairman, so as you can see, there is no Mike Ashley. I don't think he's there in any form, way, or another. He has finally gone. And uh, let's have a look at the bank and see how much money they're actually going to be giving us. Okay, they've got 200 million in the bank and they've got 150 million pound transfer war chest. Ooh. What can we do with this? First off, I'm going to do what United cannot do. I'm going to try and sign Sancho and see if we can get him on the cheap as well. Um, just before they even uh, start looking at him. Whether or not it's going to happen, I don't know. The squad. Um, let's have a quick look. Again, I'm to be perfectly honest, I'm not too hot on some of these players. Uh, but uh, Dubrovka, I know he's a very, very good goalkeeper. 30 years old. Uh, Rob Elliott, probably not so, probably try and move him along. So obviously we want to try and uh, bring some more money in as well. So we need, they've got a massive squad. So we're going to have to try and move some of these players on. Um, they've got three goalkeepers. We don't need three goalkeepers. Two goalkeepers will be sufficient. So probably Rob Elliott. I'm sorry, my friend, but uh, we may have to try and move you on. 3.8 million if we can. Great. Uh, they've got Fernandez, a 30-year-old centre-back. Um, looks okay. Las Shells, uh, I think he's a very, very good uh, defender as well. So probably he'll be uh, staying with the club. Uh, it's quite settled as well. Uh, Kieran Clark, uh, Florin Lejeune, currently injured at the moment. Uh, three to four months out. So that's going to take a little bit of a hit for us at the back. Uh, Shah, Paul Domit, Lazaro on loan, is he? 
Uh, 23 years old, he can play wing back as well. So on loan from Inter Milan. Okay, pretty decent. Not too bad. Uh, Jamie Sterry, McQuillo, uh, Yedlin. Uh, we've got quite a lot of uh, wing backs here on this right hand side. Maybe we don't need as many. Uh, Emil Kraft, another right wing back. Do we need this many wing backs? I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we may have to move a couple of these on as well. Matt Ritchie. Uh, oh, we've got somebody on the left-hand side this time. He can play wing-back as well on the left-hand side and play on the right-hand side here. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. He didn't have a very good season last season. 36 games, two goals. Is that about it? Uh, I'm not sure if all the stats are actually in here, but uh, it doesn't seem an awful lot, though. Uh, probably a player we probably want to move on worth £14 million. Pounds. We'll see if we can get some money for him, maybe. Danny Rose on the left and said, so, oh, now we're looking at left wing backs. Okay. So wing backs is uh, quite popular as well. So Matt Ritchie will probably look to move along, uh, but we'll find, we'll see in due course. Uh, Danny Rose with Jeff Tro Williams, a couple of wing backs there. Lazar also. Jack Colback, centre midfield, um, £3 million, 29 years old. Probably a player we may want to also move on. Looks pretty decent, though. Uh, again, poor season. Well, he was on loan at Forest last season. I'd expect to do, have him do a little bit better than that in through midfield. Um, Pity doesn't give us all the uh, assist information on there. But they got him on free from Newcastle. He's not... Well, he had a couple of seasons, then he's been out on loan. So he's not really featured in the first team. So probably a player we probably want to move along as well. Uh, John Joe Shelby is... He missed a Newcastle. Uh, how long has he been here? Has he been here for? He's been here for quite a while from the Swansea. Twelve million pound. Um, looks okay, I guess. I mean, the stats from last uh, few seasons aren't great, but again, a solid midfielder, and I think uh, probably somebody we can work around. Isaac Hayden, young, twenty-four year old. He can play in behind, and he can play in midfield as well. Bentalab, another guy on loan. Uh, 24 years old. Where's he got him on loan from? From Schalke. Ooh, interesting. Did he really feature much last season? Doesn't really say anything. Uh, but again, a decent enough player. The long staffs. Uh, Savier, uh, Senegal. Uh, 28 years old. Midfielder. He was on loan last season to Turkey. Okay, I guess. Not too much to shout about though, to be perfectly honest. But again, four million pounds. Do we need him? We'll find out. Uh, Jacob Murphy, he's out on loan. Uh, two and a half start. Looks very happy there, doesn't he? Uh, doesn't seem that impressive. A bit way down the pecking order on the right hand side, though, to be honest. We've got Atsu, Almiron. Almiron, attacking midfielder, is he? And the left hand side. Yeah, very, very happy. And yeah, dribbling, crossing, acceleration pace. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Some, some Something we can work around. Alan St. Maximin would definitely uh, hang on to this chap as well. He's worth £30 million though. So, I mean, is there a possibility to bring somebody in better or do we stay with him? Joe Linton, Brazilian, not really uh, been impressed with him that much. He doesn't seem to... Uh, Put the ball in an awful lot. He's consistently getting under 10 goals a season, possibly. 34 and a half million. They've only just signed him. So I think as if somebody comes in, I guess, with a big offer, then uh, it'd have to be more than 30 million, though, unfortunately. But uh, I think it's probably somebody we will have to uh, hang on to and uh, work with. We've got Muto. Not too bad. Again, we'll have another look at him near the time they bought him last season. Uh, one goal in 17. Andy Carroll, apart from being a target player, I don't think it offers that much. Uh, I don't think it's prolific, that's for sure. Uh, consistently, again, under 10 goals a season. It's not impressive, even with Liverpool. He had one good season uh, back in the 2009-2010, 17 goals. But apart from that, nothing really to shout home about. So possibly a player that we could hopefully move along. He's currently injured. Uh, so he'll be back in a couple of days. And another uh, striker as well, Dwight Gale. Let's move along and uh, let's see some of the transfers were already happening. And uh, let's see what we've done with the club so far. So first off, uh, as you can see, uh, we've spent some money. That £150 million has, has gone. As you can see, we've spent all our money. £150 million just gone, just like that. Phew, vanished. 
and uh, I think you'll be pretty pleased with some of the transfers we have made. Let's have a look at first of the guys that we've let go. Some of the transfers we've not made. Uh, Yannick Torrey has gone out alone to Northampton. Jack Colback, he has gone to Bristol City for 1.3 million. Uh, Jamie Starry, he's gone for 180,000 to Lincoln. We do sell Henry Savier for um, two and a half million. He's gone to uh, Al Hali Saudi Sport Club. And I think the other transfer, or the two transfers we possibly have made, two Fernande players. One's gone to Genk, and uh, the other one has gone out on loan. So 31.5 million has actually gone, which is uh, which is quite disappointing to be honest. And not a lot of other players have actually have gone at all. So let's have a look at some of the players that we have brought in. First up is Ruben Neves. We bring him in as a central de um, defensive midfielder or actually in midfield is where we're actually going to be playing him but we can drop back if we need to. I'm quite a big admirer of Ruben Neves and I've not actually really played uh, with him in FM20 at all I don't think. I thought you know what he's a well sought after player he's very very solid and I think he'll uh, complement Shelby quite well in the centre as well as a couple of other players as well but he, he would be our mainstay in there if we drop back to a defensive midfielder he can drop in there as well but yeah look at these stats very very good and uh coming from wolves 70 million pounds yes uh, a lot of money we've spent on this chap the next up is lataro martinez forward wow um yeah, Joe Linton. No, he's not going to be playing. He's not going to be our first choice. Uh, we're going to bring in Martinez. I think he's going to do absolutely brilliant for us. Look at these stats. And as you can see, against uh, Joe Linton. Actually, to be perfectly honest, there's not that much in it. But it is all uh, Martinez. Defending, yeah, we're not really fussed or aerial. But uh, speed, vision, attacking, technicals and mentors are just, uh, just far too good. And uh, he is probably one of the top strikers in uh, Europe at the moment. So apart from going for somebody like uh, Ronaldo, um, Mbappe or Messi even, yeah. Uh, he was a little bit more affordable than uh, than them guys. £68 million we bring him in, up to 73 uh, from Inter. They make a nice tidy profit, but uh, 29 goals in 76. And as you can see, he's already scored a goal for us already because we've already kicked the season off, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, already he's making his mark. And uh, wow, I just... Again, another player that I've not really played with. And finally, we have done something that Manchester United have not been able to do. We've brought in the 19-year-old Jadon Sancho, right winger. Wow, what a player. He can play on the left, he can play on the right, and he's damn good. And we've got Maximum who can play on the right-hand side, which he will be playing. In fact, both of them can switch sides. So as long as they stay fit, we may have a chance history wise I mean how can you not say I mean he is the talk of the uh, transfer window at the moment and whether or not United get him or not is another matter but Newcastle have got him in this save we offered 90 million and they accepted maybe I could have gone a little bit less we had the money bang he was the first uh, signing we've had and I tell you what 18 dribbling he can cross the board he can run as well he's got very very good uh, mentors also Probably not great with long throws, marking, uh, penalty ticket taking is not bad at all actually. Tackling, nah, we just want to, he needs to be, ta He he's the player that has to be tackled, he doesn't do the tackling. Uh, position and leadership, just get on with your game I think, head down, run up them lines, brilliant. Jump and reach, not so, but acceleration and pace like I say is very, very good indeed. 12 goals in 34 last season. Uh, I just think, uh, I mean, look at the map. How much profit are Dortmund getting from him, really? £84 million profit. I mean, it's just monstrous. He does come on hundred grand a week, which isn't an awful lot, considering three players that we have brought in. So if we just have a look at the... Uh, the rest of the transfers, so majority of the ones that happened uh, before we joined, like Joe Linton for one, there's a couple of other players coming in as Kowski. I'm assuming all these are in the tw under 23s. Maximum 16 million, that's pretty good. That's not a bad buy at all. Um, uh, Lazaro and uh, Williams, Danny Rose, or some low knees as well. So we are going to be uh, utilising these guys. Um, I'm not sure if there has been any free uh, release players. No, there hasn't been at all, but... Uh, Two hundred and eighty-four million pounds spent. I've spent a hundred and fifty-two hundred of that quite easily. 
<laughs> quite easily. Um, how we've managed to uh, get all that money out of the 150 million pound budget, I've got no idea. There's some uh, some uh, stuff happening behind the scenes, possibly with a couple of uh, sales as well. Money well spent, I think personally, I really do. So let's have a look at the uh, team that the tactics that we are going to be using this season. Now you said. Now I did mention before we were well over in. Uh, we did have a surplus in wing backs, so we're going to use the wing backs. We've got. We're going to use Dubrovka in goal. We've got a uh, back three. We. I'd really wanted to bring another centre back in, but money wise, it just hasn't allowed us. Maybe just the 150 million just wasn't really enough. But to bring in this uh, three players that um, was really after. Uh, as a uh, kind of worked out, I've not really played with them, so I'd like to, uh, with this save, I'd like to try and use them. Sorry on the right, Williams. We've got a lot of other players. We did have a massive squad. Uh, some of the players are sitting in the under 23s at this present moment in time. Um, mainly because we just couldn't offload them, like Dwight Gale, Carol, Richie, Rob Elliott. We just couldn't really move them along. Got Sancho on the left and Maximum. They can switch round if need be, so that's uh, going to help us quite a bit. Martinez up there already, and uh, some of the games we have already been, been played uh, with some friendlies. Uh, we didn't concede a goal right until the very last one of the friendlies, uh, Leonos, Leonos uh, 3 1. But we beat NEC 20, Hellman, Legia, Warsaw, Krakowia. Uh, very, very good indeed. And then the most impressive one is uh, the start of the season, the 4-1 hammering of Tottenham. Wow. Just wow. We did go a goal down. I did wonder whether the formation was not going to work, but we absolutely destroyed them. Martinez scoring on his debut. Uh, we've got Kara Mark, Loris scoring an own goal, and Jaden Sancho on his debut as well. So I was very, very impressed and we dominated the midfield as well so which was even better so uh, i do realize that the video is going on for just a little bit so this is where we're at we are going to be coming back i think we got the draw for um i think it's a cup competition coming up next i think it's the caraboa cup draw so what we can do before we go we can just have a quick look at that and then uh, we draw all teams because it's a lot uh we're away to west brom so what we're going to do we're going to play a couple of games move the season on we're gonna we're gonna concentrate more on the uh, premier league i think and if we can get quite high up in the cup competitions then great we'll show that that's the stages but i think it's uh for the first season well generally it's going to be all about qualify well hopefully if we can qualify for europe and then if we do that then we can uh concentrate on winning the league as well so that is our main task is winning the league two season series uh hopefully you'll enjoy it get on board and uh let me know all your comments. What do you think of the three transfers that I have actually physically made? Not the transfers that have uh, gone in. Is there anybody that you think that we could actually let go? That would be a, that would be great as well. Am I right to leave Matt Ritchie out, Gail and um, Andy Carroll as well? Am I right to leave them guys out? Um, I don't see them fitting in. We have got a squad of 25 and uh, that's as much as we can register. So they don't, they won't fit into the squad at least anyway. And I think we've got a, quite a lot of good players in there already. So yeah, Liverpool next episode. So if you enjoyed that, I do apologise for it going on for a little bit longer than expected. But um, just a little bit to get through. But £150 million, pound, well spent I feel. So if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.